Hello friends. Now this topic is about living a selfless life on this planet. You know that everyone comes in this world becomes a youth gets married does job or business earns money has a livelihood take care of his family parents bring them up the children ultimately becomes old and die pass away from this world or sometimes he or she makes an untimely death will you for our own near and dear ones now if you live a life beyond beyond your family beyond your personal wish and belongingness if you live a life of altruism that is called altruism if you are an altruistic person you find that you are more happy more happier than a person who is living a self-centered life who is living a life confined to his family so friends try to do one thing one positive thing for this world before you pass away do a selfless work where you don't aspire for money you don't aspire for a name and fame you don't aspire that it will bring something good to you just as there is something like unconditional love similarly do this unconditional work for the society without any condition without any selfish motive ulterior motive and you find that you will be more happier than the person around you happiness is the state of mind the state of contentment why celebrities why people having much wealth with them also commit suicide have you ever thought about it my conjecture by the man bro by the celebrity or any other world famous person you must have found that as per as your perspective he or she must have been the happier person because they have reached to a height of fame name wealth and what not but still they felt depressed and left their lives on this planet so happiness is not getting money getting name and fame happiness is contentment with what you have you are happy with a simple task and you may be more happier than a person who has achieved a bigger task so it's not the task that is bigger or smaller that makes a person happy is the way of thinking after achieving maybe some bigger things also a person is not happy and a person even achieving a small aims a small objective is the happiest person so how you take it some people are never happy on this planet you find them whatever they get they are always craving for more and more 
And some people, they don't want anything. They just want peace. They just want a smile. They want just a well-being. For example, the sages, those who are doing ascetics, penance in Himalayas, Girnas, they don't aspire, name and fame, to come on television, to become celebrities, and show their supernatural powers, show their skills that they have achieved by penance. They just remain hidden, far away from the world, happy with what they are, happy with their own well-being, happy with their contentment, but still they are doing something for the world. They are thinking good of the world. Sitting there, far away from the world, they are passing positive energies, thinking good of the world. Thinking of God, thinking of the ultimate cosmos, the ultimate reality, life and death. The meditating, they are peace with themselves. It's not necessary to seclude yourself, isolate yourself from the world. Even living the world, you could be happy with yourself. So please, you must have found. People are nagging you like anything. They are full of criticism for you. They isolate you. They make you a bad person. They spoil your image, what not. But still you may be happy. Because no one in the world can make you unhappy if you don't want it. And if you want or if you are unhappy, no one in the world can make you happy. So where does happiness lie? It is your own state of mind. Some people comment, hey, he has done something and he has made me sad. She has said something and she has made me sad. Why we leave our happiness to other person? Why we leave our happiness to the statement of other person, to the action of other person? If somebody says something, we feel bad, we feel unhappy. If somebody does something, we feel bad, we feel unhappy. That means our state of mind of happiness, we have left to others. They can make us happy or unhappy. Now that should not be the case. It's your own will which can make you happy or unhappy. If you desire not to be unhappy, you can never be unhappy. If you want to be always happy, no one can make you unhappy. No criticism in this world, no bitter criticism in the world can shake you. No action in the world can depress you or make you sad if you don't want to. So friends, Today I have told you two points. One is live an altruistic life. Live a life for others. Apart from yourself, your family, your own life, try to do something unconditionally for this world. At least one positive work in this world before you leave this planet. Second thing, be happy, be positive, be at peace with yourself. Don't allow others to make you unhappy. Don't leave your the string of your happiness in the hands of others. Be at calm with yourself. You can do good to the world if you are good with yourself. So first and foremost, be happy, be positive, be at calm with yourself and then try to do something for others positive try to do selfless work for others maybe one task 
but do it in a larger level for the community for the people around you and you'll find that you'll be the happiest person in this world so once again in a nutshell be happy be positive don't allow any factor to shake you up don't allow any circumstances or any person to shake you up from the happiness atmosphere aura milieu that you are in and once you are peace with yourself calm composure poise be happiness you feel happiness share it to others do something good for others let one work of you bring a smile to the person next to you and you find your purpose in this world is good stay safe stay healthy have a good day